Hey guys, thanks for watching. I want to explain to you guys uh, quickly kind of why I start on ISO 400 and why I believe that ISO 100, though being the best quality ISO, can actually do more damage than good. So basically, a short explanation is, if you're on ISO 100 all the time, and you're shooting, even on a nice day like today, if you're shooting something like a darker colored bird in a shadowy area, if you're on ISO 100, because that's what you've been taught as being the best quality ISO, and you point your camera into those shadows, you're likely going to have too slow of a shutter speed with a big telephoto lens. That's happened to me a lot. I've been caught. And by the time I change my ISO, this is mostly shooting on aperture priority, even uh, program mode. Um, shutter priority, you're likely changing your shutter speed first, but on aperture priority, it's usually ISO that you go to. So by the time you actually change your ISO, that bird or that animal, whatever it was you're shooting, um, is gone. And so a lot of times I've been burnt where I either get too slow of a shutter speed and you think you got the shot, but when you zoom in, it's slightly blurry. Uh, around watering holes like this, there's a lot of dark colored birds, black, uh, red-winged blackbirds, uh, common greckles, uh, cowbirds, all these dark colored birds that are here in abundance, they like to hang out into the thicker catbirds. They like to hang out, I think that's a catbird. I don't know what that is, but anyway, they like to hang out in the darker areas, so you get these dark colored birds in there. So ISO 400, right off the bat, the quality difference between 100 and 400 isn't so great that you're going to be uh, getting all these grainy images. It, you're not going to be getting grainy images until you're into the 3200, 6400 ISO nowadays with, with these cameras, Some, sometimes higher. Um, even my camera being five years old, 1600 ISO to my standards is pretty clean. So 400 ISO to start with, pretty darn good quality. So. 400 ISO just gives you that extra little bit of sensitivity you need to make sure you have fast shutter speeds in the darker areas. Don't let the nice days fool you. When you're zoomed in on a, on a large telephoto lens, a lot of times your camera can't see the light. So 400 ISO, start there. Just do 100 when you're on a tripod and, and uh, you have time to do the adjustments. If you're going around looking for birds and wildlife, start on 400 and I think overall you'll be a lot better off. You'll have more sharp images overall. Hope that tip helps. That's a question I got why I like 400 ISO so much, why I, I start there. I think 400 ISO is the next 100. Thanks for watching. More videos to come. Thanks for subscribing. Take care.